Hey everybody, welcome back to the Index Engineering. In today's episode, we're going to be putting our Altronics electronic shift kit in the Camaro. I hope you guys enjoy. And while you're at it, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you guys get updates whenever I upload a new video. So, the first thing that we have done thus far is we have pulled the shifter out of the car. Um, we're going to be installing our Altronic shift kit in place of it. Um, Direct, quit messing with the camera. I got my little GoPro down there and he keeps going up to it and sniffing it and licking it. It's so hard to find good help these days. So we're going to get the car lifted up and then we're going to start working on everything underneath. Feed the wires through and then we'll lower it back down and go from there. The first thing that we have to do is we have to mount the Altronics onto the side of the transmission. When you purchase this, it, they will ask you if you want a high mount, low mount, rear mount. I ended up going with the mid mount in the rear, which bolts up to the side of the tail shaft because I didn't have clearance underneath of the transmission. Once you have it installed, you want to torque the tail shaft all the way back down to what it's supposed to be. And then we can start working on the electronics on the inside. First thing we do is we mount the uh, control panel to the steering wheel. And then we're going to go through and hook up all of the wires for it to do the various things that it's going to do. This also has a neutral safety switch feature. So you have to wire that up to a relay and to your uh, ignition key. In my case, I have a switch, momentary switch that does that. So we now are wiring that in place so that we actually have a working neutral safety switch. That way we can't start it while it's in gear. Now that we have the wires hooked up for the power and for the ground, we're going to go through and get the relay wired in as well and we're going to take and run that in line with our ignition switch so it will interrupt it and not let us start the car while it's in gear. Now that we have that mounted, we can work on the next part. Hooking up the tachometer to it. Now we can start running the wire underneath to the actual trans brake because if you remember earlier, we actually installed a trans brake in this transmission as well. All right, so we just got the electronic system set up, just got all the wires ran, everything connected. So now uh, when we turn on our ignition, you see that this boots up. 12.6 volts, says that we're in park. So let's see, what do we gotta do here? Imagine we probably have to hit that. That put us in reverse. Neutral. First, second. Wow, you can hear that, it's pretty quick. Pretty much as soon as I push the button, it's shifting into gears. So we can get back to neutral. It doesn't let us into reverse until we hold down the special button. And then we can go into reverse. Can't go into park, can't go into neutral. And now we can go into park. And I can hear the neutral safety switch working over there, clicking off and on. So I think we're good to go. So I want to thank everybody for sticking it out to the end of this video. Uh, it was interesting on getting the wiring and everything set up on it and playing with the Altronic shifter. Uh, the only thing left to still do is I have to hook up the reverse lights, which is awesome that it actually comes with an output for that. So whenever you put it in reverse, it will trigger an output for it. Uh, my reverse lights unfortunately require more voltage because it's not an LED setup. 
so I have to connect another relay to power those reverse lights. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell. That way you guys can get updates whenever I upload another video. And stay tuned for more videos. Have a good one.